so many butt heats, burns, third degree burns, we're finally here in the stairwell, stairways falling down so there's no turning back. Epic battles! Epic battles! Die, 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 die! Epic battles. I always fail when I grab their weapons. Uh, as you can see, yeah, I, I always try and grab their weapons and turn it against them, but their weapons are so slow, and by the time you grab them, you most likely get your ass kicked. Here comes another known enemy, only that I believe that this is the first time we're gonna be fighting it. They're very annoying. Got this really bad uh, hook attack. It's terrible. <laughs> oh my god. I just talk about it and he freaking does this stupid move. Let's see if I can grab his stick. Oh, yeah. Forget about that too. Oh, whatever. Just die. <laughs> right, but at least free. And we're hurt. Let's get some couple of hearts. And let's go talk to this girl. What? 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 Oh yeah, there's a thingy here. Let's grab it. It's this uh, skull necklace. Another thing that we have to collect. Yep, yep, yep. So we're gonna get the item finally that will help us in many ways. Thank you, see, you came rescue me. Uh, sure. Big nose. I have to tell you that I found out this. See, this this is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to degrade the loose tail. That's why he's so angry. Wow. Degrade the loose tail and hang sound into the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who capture me have something to do with it. Well, duh. We gotta do something now before it's too late. <laughs> I'll go too late for going what's happening. Here, here Link, cause he used this to get out of here. Yeah, give that to me. It's what I used to get this far. It's the device we Rito used to before we evolved wings. So this has history behind it. The grappling hook! One of the most awesome items you're gonna have in this game. It's gonna make everything possible. <laughs> You'll see. Here, Link, cause he climb onto that ledge over there, and I can show you something. Sure. We go over there and do as she says. I don't even know why she needed it, cause she freaking has wings. But I guess there are some things that we're gonna be seeing later on that might explain why. Here's a mini tutorial of how to use the rappling hook. This uh, split second delay is going to be a little bit bad when it comes to this. So you can see I have to uh, point out the, the aim so I can get the rappling hook working. So, since there's this delay, every time I try and aim, as you can see, I get off the <laughs> the aim. So it's gonna be a little annoying for the boss battle, but I guess I'll can I can manage. Now I'm not gonna die, but 
I'm not gonna perform flawlessly, I guess. <laughs> but oh well. No biggie. And I do say that we're gonna be using the grappling hook, cause it's like a tradition in every Zelda game that the treasure you hold for each dungeon or temple, it's usually what you you will be using for the boss battle. I don't know if there have been exceptions in the past. Uh, some bosses that don't necessarily use. Okay, so here's the first use of the grappling hook. Uh, you grab stuff from the goblins and the other creatures that drop those collectible items. And like the gold feathers and all that stuff. So we're going to be able to collect them always since it's a 100% uh, drop rate when you use the, the grappling hook, but if you only rely on killing them Then there won't be a 100% chance So I highly recommend that before you kill any goblin or any enemy that drops a collectible item That you use your grappling hook first from this guy. We already got the, the Joy pendants, so we, we really we don't you know, we don't need him anymore. So let's go over here and Fight the other guy. Let's use the grappling hook. And now let's kill him. So this is the way that you'll be collecting all these items. These monsters are everywhere, so if you do this very early in the game, like right now, in the end you'll be able to collect a large number of all items and there won't be any trouble. So we don't need this bridge anymore, so I'm gonna break it. Remember, this is a one-shot thing, so if you fail on crossing the bridge, you're pretty much screwed and won't get this little treasure here, a joy pendant. It's not, it's not a big loss, but you know, might as well have another one. Alrighty, so let's keep going. And yeah, I don't think that bridge fixes itself later on, so I just don't recall it doing that, so be very careful. Here, try not to hit any rope when you start charging your spin attack. And try and do it when the platform is up like this. So that you don't fall immediately after you cut the rope. And have an unstable cut and then all of a sudden fall. So that's how I do it anyways. <laughs> We're going to be doing some couple of uh, tar sand moves around here. Yeah, that before was the second uh, use for the grappling hook because we already had used it for this. But it also serves as a third purpose, is to pull switches. You know, they're the same as uh, things that you hang on to jump off, but at the same time, some of them are switches, so be very alert of, of your surroundings, of where this thing can stick. Here, you push the R button and then you turn around you without releasing it can uh, go down and up the same rope and this way you can make the jump even further away and adjust it to whatever jump you're trying to make some of the jumps will be direct but as you saw earlier some of the jumps you'll, you're gonna have to uh, alter yourself so it's gonna be a little bit nasty sometimes and I may fall or something so be ready to see some epic fails <laughs> so this is the easiest way to kill this little bastard uh, I wasn't supposed to do that but I just wanted to show you guys supposed to knock him out and turn him into a ball so I can grab him. Oh, okay. And push the switch with him so that we can get the boss key. This is ba basically all that we need. So we're pretty much ready for the boss. Only that I will walk back instead of showing you the boss in this part. Might as well show you the trip back, because I don't want people saying that they can't get back, because there are a couple of tricky things that we're going to be facing now. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Oh, I missed that one there. Yeah, that thing that we did earlier, that we enlarged the rope so that we could jump, it's gonna be different now, so... I guess you should, for those who are playing, just do what I do. I guess you, you should be fine. So, we're gonna mount here, and now we're gonna have to be careful of how short or long this rope has to be now. You just have to measure it in, all, in order to not crash on the side. And if this is not easy for you, there's a platform behind here that you can just shoot from there and it will take you directly. Okay, so I'll see you guys on the next part. Thank you for watching. This has been Usumachi. Take care and bye-bye.